Welcome back to Eat Sleep Box and Repeat. Uh, got a very special guest with us today, uh, former British middleweight champion Nick Blackwell. Nick, uh, when I first met you, we spoke uh, on a very sunny, lovely day down at Bournemouth Beach. The weather has yeah, we changed. Did. Unfortunately, the circumstances have changed too. We're speaking over Zoom. Uh, you were in great form that day. Hope you're keeping well. How are things? Um, yeah, real good, thanks. Um, the always a chain and fight. It was a real good fight. Yeah, like yeah. You said we got a big fight coming up now. Yeah, yeah. There's what always we're going to be talking about. <laughs> always just so much going on in boxing. Always oh, there so is. much to talk about. Uh, first thing Omega I want to get... coming up. Yeah, first thing I want Sorry. to get your thoughts on are uh, a former opponent of yours, Chris Eubank Jr. Massive fight with Conor Ben coming up oh. uh, next weekend. First thing I want to ask you about with that fight, Nick, is a lot's been made about the weight issue for Chris Eubank Jr. He's having to mm. come in uh, three pounds lighter than he's ever done before. Obviously fought you at middleweight. He'll be coming in at 157 for this. You've mm. obviously been up close and personal with Chris. you faced off with him. You've been in the ring with him. He's yeah. a big man to be making 157. How do you think that's going to affect him on the night? No, but he is a big man. Um, he's a big man for 157. Um, and he's going to be strong at the weight. Um, but I just can't wait for the fight. It's going to be an amazing fight, can't we? With uh, Chris, he's like a great fighter. He's quick. He hits hard. He doesn't, hit, he doesn't hit hard, but he's got enough power. He's strong. He's tough, chill, but um, he's fit as well. But I can't look forward to it, can't we? <laughs> yeah, I think we all are, mate. Obviously, from the Conor Ben point of view, he's he's going to be the smaller man in there. Yeah. If, you were, if you were in Conor's corner, how do you think he would be best approaching that fight to sort of take away the sort of natural advantages Chris will have? Um, I think he'd have to take take the take the pressure to him, put the pressure on him, um, and move his head and just work him, put him under pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's it's an intriguing one. You've got sort of clash of styles there too. Connor's yeah, it's real there. clash of styles. Yeah, Connor real clash of styles. Improved a lot as a fighter. If you were, if you, are you leaning one way in particular? Who do you fancy for that fight? Um. I think Chris has got the advantage of the weight. He's gonna be bigger, but Conor Benny is so hard, and he he might be the underdog. And the underdog, you love an underdog, don't you? <laughs> I yeah, always love an yeah. underdog. I was always the underdog. I'd always come out with most of the top. But um, it's a real good fight. You can see how both fighters can win, and the whole world's been watching this fight. That's why it's so good and intriguing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a massive fight. Obviously, but oh, massive. The dads as well. The British boxing is massive. Just the last thing I want to ask you about it, uh, sort of an offbeat one. We've seen Chris posting these videos of him eating KFC, eating his birthday cake, eating a burger the other day. Do you think that's all mind games to try and get yeah. Connor's head? Yeah, but Connor don't listen to that. Connor don't listen to that. Um, Connor focus on one thing, that's to try and get a job done. But um, it's like a, a Chris Eubank Jr.'s old man, Chris Sr., and um, Connor Ben's dad. It's a legacy fight. This is it's gonna be a massive fight. Um, if there's anything gonna be like the out of the father's fight, it's gonna be an amazing fight because their the father's fights are amazing. Oh, they're incredible. <laughs> if the fights are like that nowadays, they'd be worth watching, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> they're right. they're yeah, amazing yeah. fights. Um, I'm looking forward to this fight. I can't wait for it. Yeah, you, you mentioned the fathers there. There There is speculation that both fathers might actually be in the corners for the fights. Just how amazing would that be? Oh, amazing. I see Nigel Ben's been uh, training with Conor Ben as well. He yeah. is the same as Conor Ben. Um, I see him been training out with him in Isle of Wight with uh, Conor Ben training, which is good. Um, and Chris Eubank's been, he's been doing his thing, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, I think he's, he's back with the dad as well. Yeah, both out of their dads. <laughs> I think Nigel Ben, um, Conor Ben's coming out of his dad in his corner, which would be amazing. I think I heard a rumour he's coming out of his entrance song as well. Really? Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah. So that'd be real good. But it's going to be a great fight between Conor Ben and Chris Eubank. But it's going to be something about their old man as well. Legacy fight. Yeah, Chris Eubank yeah. seen and um, uh, get more out and. Conor Ben's dad, Nigel Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing, mate. It's an amazing story. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, we, could, we could talk about that fight all day, but there's... Yeah, I could. I keep talking to you about this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> there's just so much going on. I'd like to get your thoughts on a couple other things. 
Like yeah. this whole Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, back and forth, like it, it's hard to keep track of what's going on. Oh no, it is. <laughs> Tyson loves it. <laughs> I laugh at the comments. Tyson says he's so funny, but he's clever when it comes to it because he wants to get himself in the press and keep his name out there, and he's doing it. He's saying he's going to retire, and he says he's going to fight Anthony Joshua, this person, this person. But he's clever what he's doing. People think it's a bit stupid, but I think Percy is clever because he keeps his name out there. Yeah, yeah. And Percy, yeah, I yeah. think Tyson Fury he is the best heavyweight you've ever had since Muhammad Ali. He's amazing. He moves like a middleweight. He got hit down by Deontay Wilder and got back up and then knocked him out. And no one hits harder than Deontay Wilder. But, um, oh, it's, oh, if that Amphi Josh fight and Tyson Fury fight happens, it's going to be the biggest fight in boxing history. Biggest heavyweight fight. I hope it does happen, and it's not all talk. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Eddie Hearn has said recently <laughs> that he thinks Tyson Fury doesn't really want the fight. He's just playing games. What do you think? Do you think Tyson wants it, or is he just sort of playing games as he always does? <laughs> I think he's playing games at the moment, but Tyson's always training for his mental health as well, which is um, boxing training does. It makes you happy, you like, stress-free. But um, I think Tyson does want the fight at the end of the day. But he's just playing and uh, he's playing Amphi Joshua's head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only thing is, we've sort of got, if they're going for this December 3rd date, sort of time's yeah. all out, they would need to get it organised soon, wouldn't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. Because both was, both should be training. Tyson Fury's training, I know he is training. Amphi Josh will be training. But when you're a boxer, you train seven, six, seven days a week anyway. Yeah. You give everything up to train. So if that fight happens, I can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, it's be massive fight. And it's going to be in England as well, I got told. Yeah, well, Wales, I think, but uh, UK. Uh, it might be Cardiff. Yeah. But that will sell out in seconds. <laughs> yeah, you'll do well to get a ticket. Yeah, it will. <laughs> oh, just, yeah, it'll be a great fight. I'm hoping it, I'm hoping, praying it will happen. I think all the British, sort of fa- British fight fans are. Just, if you were, the thing is, if you were Anthony Joshua's manager and you were coming off those two <laughs> defeats to Alexander Yusik, do you think it's the best idea to go straight in there with Tyson Fury, or would you take a few fights to rebuild and then? Uh, that's what I said. I've said this all along. He needs a few warm up fights, a few fights um, down below to work himself as Tyson Fury. He um, he can't go straight and fight Alexander Usyk and then fight Tyson Fury from a loss straight into Tyson Fury. It's my opinion. I've said it from day dot. Tyson Fury's the best heavyweight out there, and it's the only one who could put Tyson Fury under pressure, and that's Usyk. <laughs> <laughs> it is but yeah Anthony Josh does need a few more warm up fights I, fight, I think a good fight would be Dylan White I think that would be a good fight yeah, Dylan White's not. game yeah Dylan White's real game and they would take a fight to Anthony Joshua Anthony Joshua's got everything he's got absolutely everything he's a good boxer he's quick um, he hits hard but the thing is with headweight you need a good chin and Anthony Joshua every time he gets hit he goes down but Oh, I can't bat, bat, be saying anything bad about him because he's a great fighter. Um, yeah. Just there's, there's a sort of new heavyweight who's emerged on, not new heavyweight, but he's moved into that sort of the top level now. You're starting to hear him in conversation. It's Joe Joyce. Uh, oh, Joe Joyce weekend. fight. Yeah, that was an amazing fight. Yeah, you just... put uh, Joe Joyce in with any of them and he put a good fight with any heavyweight out there. What, what did and you think had... of the fight with Parker at the weekend? What's that, what did you say, sorry? What did you think about Joe's performance against Parker at the weekend? Um, oh, incredible. Yeah, sure what fighter he is. But um, in heavyweight box, it only takes one punch, doesn't it? You know that. But, um, I told you, Fury, he got knocked down by Deontay Wilder and got back up and knocked him out. That was incredible. Buzz the hairs of arms got. But, um, yeah, Joe Joyce, what a fighter he was. He could put him in any heavyweight out there. And it'd be a great fight. Well, Joe's now got that WBO interim title, which means he'll either get a shot at Alexander Yusik or Yusik will have to vacate. How would you see a fight between Joe Joyce and Yusik going now? Oh, that'd be a great fight, that would. Alexander Yusik, he's so technically good, um, real good fighter. He's tough as well, and he is hard. Joe Joyce, he's just a great fight. That'd be a great fight again. But like I said, with heavyweight box, he only takes one punch. <laughs> Yeah, Joe Joyce the other day fought real good against Parker. There's so many interesting fights and good fights out there to be made, but it's if the promoters and 
the fighters actually want to make the fights. <laughs> oh, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. <laughs> it's all the build up and press to the fights. <laughs> That's what everyone enjoys. I'm enjoying the Tyson Fury stuff. It makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. It's hard to know what the sort of take is real and, you know, what you have to take with a pinch of salt, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah especially with Tyson Fury. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Tyson Fury's a great fighter and him with any heavyweight would be a great fight. <laughs> yeah, we're in a real golden era with the heavyweights at the minute. Nick, oh, yeah, we have... it's it's getting later on, so I really appreciate you giving so much of your time. Uh, I'll let you go, get you back on with your evening. It was great chatting to you. Uh, anything you'd like to say to the fans, maybe an update on how things are with you? Uh, any last message for us? I just want to say thank you to everyone and continued support for me. appreciate all kind messages and look forward to the big fights and keep liking me and keep following me on follow me on Instagram, Nick Bang Bang Blowell. <laughs> get out there. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> we'll get <laughs> yeah, we'll get, get my name out there. Description, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, Nick Bang Bang Blackwell on Twitter. Um Nick ba- Nick Blackwell O two Twitter. Yeah. I didn't go on Twitter as much when I was boxing. I was on it every day because you got to be on your socials. But um, you see what I'm doing in my everyday today life now, which I'm um, doing quite a lot. I'm seeing all the big, big boxers out there. Um, yeah, and you see what I'm doing in my day-to-day life. Happy days, mate. Well, you're glad to hear you're doing so well. People make oh, sure and Savannah Marshall. Oh, what a great fight that is. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sure. Savannah sure. Marshall and Chris shows go that in. <laughs> who, have you got, who have you got for that one? Oh, Savannah Marshall. She is the woman Golovkin, and she's trained by amazing trainer Peter Fury. Um, he's a great coach, great man. Um, and Savannah hits hard. She spies with all the lads over there. Even the lads said they've never been hit so hard. <laughs> and, but she is so quiet. You wouldn't, if you're looking at her, you wouldn't think anything of her. Then you get hit by her, then you know what, who she's all, what she's all about. <laughs> no, yeah, I, Savannah I, Marshall. Chris Shields is all mouth, but she is good. She's had a lot of hard fights and got a lot of wins. Svana Marshall hasn't fought anyone on some Chris Shields' opponent's level, but it's another great fight. Another great fight, that one, and I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it's a good and it's an all women, yeah, all women yeah. fight night as well. <laughs> so yeah. many good fights out there at the moment. It's good that you reminded me of that one, mate, because I forgot about it. And it's yeah, no, I don't even forgot. <laughs> It's rescheduled yeah, um, for October fifteenth, but I think we're all delighted about. It. Um, it's yeah, good yeah, it's October fifteenth. But there's so many good fights out there coming up, and what need to be made. And so all the good fights do get made because oh, boxing is a booming at the moment. You know, you can't you can't say a bad word about it. It's so booming at the moment. No, it's a great. So many big fight, fights out there. But yeah, Conor Ben Eubank, I'm looking forward to this fight. I can't wait. No, one hundred percent, mate. Um, as I say, next week, start off with that. You've got Savannah Marshall, Wilder coming back soon. Just so much we could talk about, mate. Yeah, but I know. Um, we got to be on all night. <laughs> <Most> time. <laughs> I know. There's a, time, there's a time limit in Zoom meetings, mate, or I would have you here all night. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking to you as again. I'll plug all your socials in, all the, in, the, in the description. Make sure to go follow yeah. and keep updated with what he's doing. Uh, yeah, see what I'm doing in my day-to-day life. I'm yeah. seeing all the boxes go up to my... Fiance takes me up to all these boxing, um, or boxing training, sees everyone training. So it's amazing what I'm doing in my day to day life. I'm still involved in boxing. I say every, every day, boxing is a big family, and everyone knows everyone in boxing. Yeah, everyone yeah, respects yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. You know what hard debt and the hard work and dedication you got to put in to be a boxer. No, it's crazy. What well, sacrifices it, you got to make? <laughs> it's great you're still so involved with the sport, mate. Uh, as yeah, I, I know it is. Uh, make sure to keep, keep updated with what you're doing on social media um, yeah. hopefully I'll see you at another fight event or a fight soon it'd be great to catch up with you in person again um, thanks everyone for watching the interview please like comment subscribe all that uh, and we will catch you on the next one cheers folks mm-hmm.